In our current database schema, we can assign one blog post to one category. But this is hardly really useful because one blog post can usually be associated with multiple categories and vice versa. Therefore, we need to adjust our current database schema to allow that functionality. And this new database schema looks like this. We have basically the same blog posts table, but without the foreign key to the categories. The identical categories table as before. And now our new junction table, which connects the blog posts and the categories via the foreign keys set here. And the, co the, the combination between the category ID and the blog post ID is primary. So CakePHP knows that this together is unique and it can reference it. So yeah, the, the name of this table and the columns are of course very important here as you may have already heard from the previous video. So if we go into the CakePHP naming conventions, we go into the database conventions, we see here our join or junction tables uh, must have the name pluralized and sorted alphabetically. So if we go back here, blog posts is the first alphabetically table present, which we want to connect and is pluralized. And categories is the second one we want to connect and is also pluralized. So yeah, let's just take that schema and put it into our database. So here we go. Now, of course, as you've seen in the previous videos, we now have to tell CakeBHP um, that we have our new database schema and we want to regenerate our code. So we execute bin cake bake all categories and the same for the blog posts. And you may be tempted to also now execute the same for the blog posts categories table. But remember when you um, handle data inside our new backend where we just connect blog posts and categories with one another, um, we are all already or always uh, in either the blog posts template or the categories template, but there is never really an extra template or an extra functionality which just connects to um, unique entries from blog posts and categories. So we don't need to execute the bin cake bake all command for our junction table. We don't need to do that. Cake which we just automatically detects it for us. So yeah, now let's go back into our template. We have basically now, of course, a empty database because we dumped all, everything before. And now you may notice we only have one field here in our category add form, just a name, but we can't connect blog posts. Well, this is something um, cache related. So CakeBHP has a command bin, bin cake cache clear underscore all. And what this does, it clears all the cache CakeBHP generates while doing all the stuff CakeBHP can do. And inside that is uh, one of the parts necessary to create our template and to, which is based upon the whole database schema. So basically just clear the cache, we, we regenerate our code again for the blog posts and the categories. And now if we go back again and refresh our page, now our new blog posts field appears in our template. So yeah, let's create our test category here and go into a blog post and say test blog post. And now you may already notice this, that this is not a simple select anymore where you can just select one item, but this is now already a multiple select automatically created by CakePHP because well, yes, we can now uh, associate one blog post to 
multiple categories and vice versa. So let's just go into there and say, okay, this test blog post is asso associated to the test category. And if we go back to the test category, we also already see, okay, this is connected to the test blog post. This is just a, yeah, the default multi-select um, active state for the options inside the select, but if we just create here another test category and say another test blog post. And if we go into here now, we see, okay, this test blog post is connected to the test category, but not to the another test category. And yeah, vice versa, the test category is connected to the test blog post, but not to the another test blog post. What I like to do here to get a bit of a better user experience is to enable a JavaScript library, which is called select2. And this select2 is basically a JavaScript jQuery library, which just gives us a little bit of a better um, view of what this looks like. This here is just a little bit of a styling issue. But as you can see here, we now have a little bit more of a um, bullet point or, or, or elements we can uh, click and add away or search uh, through the whole select and now add our entries to, um, to our categories. So or to our categories or to our blog post. So now let's see what has changed in our code. So you know what is happening here. Um, in our controllers, not really much has happened or changed um, because we still in our blog posts controller have our categories loaded and put into our view. Um, but basically the same now has happened on the other side as well. So here in our categories controller, we now have the association between categories and blog posts and load all the currently available blog posts and set it into our view. Um, as well as yeah, on edit, we load the associated blog posts into our current category entity. Um, so this is basically the reason why if we go into, uh, so this is the this is the categories controller inside the edit function. So we are here in the categories edit and the test category. Um, but this contain uh, now is basically the reason why our select here is pre-filled. If we now um, remove that contain from our um, categories get method function, which retrieves the current category entity. Um, we don't have the associated data between category and blog posts present. So yeah, this is basically what has changed here. And of course, as well as in the add method, we have a list of all blog posts present um, and set into our view so we can we can give the user the possibility to select which blog posts are present. But yeah, then let's continue with the model. Inside the model, the main thing here, of course, is uh, yeah, this property at the buff. You don't need to worry about that. Um, but this association here has been added. So this basically says we are here in the blog post table and the blog post table belongs to many categories. So this categories here is uh, the name of our association. Our foreign key is the blog posts ID for our current uh, table. So current current blog posts table, our foreign key is the blog post ID. Our target foreign key, which we want to connect to is the category ID and our join table, which is now another new key feature and this belongs to many association is our blog posts categories table. So. Yeah, that's basically the main connection, which 
of course in this uh, in this example here is also directional so here only the block posts table knows that it has a connection to the categories table but this doesn't automatically add the reverse connection as well because in our categories table we have basically the same just with the reverse foreign key and target foreign key um, values so here we have foreign key category ID and target foreign key blog post ID and the association name is of course blog posts but yeah nothing really changed here as well um, so okay what has changed in the template we go into our template into our blog posts into our ad we now have only one additional form control which is our generated select with the multiple um, attribute enabled and here we see okay this is the categories fields the categories property so to speak of this entity uh, which can have multiple IDs and the options which are available in this drop-down are our categories which we which we have seen before in our controller this is this categories which are set to the few so yeah this basically generates our drop down which uh, associates our blog posts with our categories and the same of course happens in our categories uh, just with the blog underline posts um, field or property in this regard um, so yeah basically the same just in in the other direction and yeah that's what i would say is basically all you have to know about belongs to many associations for now um, one common problem or a tidbit uh, where you um run you, you can run into is the fact that uh, all this is generated or all this is probably manually added by yourself um, because of course you can just create those associations and all this code by yourself um, but in the end it's uh, cakebitchb doesn't um, save the association between your two models and the main reason or the main error that happens here is that inside the source model entity and blog post um, entity class there is now a new um, a new key uh, available in the accessible property and this is the categories property which we already saw before this is exactly um, what we are referencing here so this categories is basically referencing to here so this needs to be accessible so cakebhp knows that this field can be saved and used in the belongs to many association the category already had this blog posts um, association before but maybe on your side it didn't um, but basically this is also the same here for the blog posts um, field or the blog posts property for that entity but yeah other than that that's all i will have to say about the basic belongs to many association i hope you know now what to do and i will see you in the next video